All right, I'm gonna work on the little water cool Briggs here. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do is this spark plug here, I wanna recess it about a quarter of an inch because on the bottom here, you see the electrode there? It, uh, it doesn't even come close to the bottom there, but a quarter inch will bring it pretty much even, maybe maybe just slightly below it. And that's where, that's where the original uh, spark plug is. So what I gotta do, I'm gonna have to uh, take this out and just recess that. I, I got marked out here where uh, I'm gonna cut out, that's gonna be your water chamber. I'm just gonna mill out maybe about an inch, inch and an eighth, and that'll leave me with uh, a little over a quarter inch for the base. Nice long plug there, huh? Yeah, if I mill that an inch, that'll, that'll leave me with uh, a little over a quarter, so that'd be good. All right, let's bring this over to the mill and uh, set it up. And I got lucky. Looks like the last time Mike worked on this, he left a, a half inch bit in there. And that'll be perfect. All I have to do is uh, stick that in there. There we go. And uh, that's perfect. That ain't moving anywhere. So now I just have to uh, put a couple T-bolts in there and uh, we're good to go. I want to widen that. That's a half inch hole and I want to <clears throat> I have to widen it to three quarter. And that's all I have. The outside of that spark plug is three quarter, and this uh, bit I have is uh, or end mill. I don't know. I know everybody's going to keep correcting me, but I, I'm not a machinist. I don't know what the hell it's called. But uh, this is the biggest one I have, and it's going to be a pretty tight fit. So I might have to while it's in there, I might have to fiddle around with it and try and widen it a little bit. But uh, that's the kind of thing you got to do in these little garage operations. All right. To me, the worst part of milling is setting up, and this here almost set itself up. Look at that. I mean, it already had holes in it. I'm going to get in the way there. And, and that thing here, Mike's left for me, so. There we go. Set up that fast. All right, I move you guys over here because uh, the scale on my machine here is on the left. So right, I'm going to uh, put a little uh, cutting fluid on here. Not much. That's a lot. That's too much. Stuff's expensive. All right, let's give it a try here. I'm all marked up and uh, ready to go. Take it easy. I'll turn you guys off and then maybe turn you back on as we uh, get towards the end. Alright, I'm cutting like a champ here. Just a little more. I know. A lot of you guys would have used the four uh, flute mill and stuff like that. We're using what we got. It's either this or nothing. A little more lube in there.
came in a little hot. Came in hot there. Coming in on a mark here. All right, yeah, we're just about there. Gotta thank Tim Miller. He's the one that gave us all these uh, end mills, and we use them. They're all still sharp. They're great. All right, let's pour it out. All right, we'll check her out. All right, we lucked out. This thing uh, goes in there like it has eyes, but uh, let me turn it this way for you. I still got a little bit I can go, you know, so it still looks pretty decent. And on the bottom here, the electrode is popping, or the, the ground for the electrode is popping through. And I think I, I'd like to make it go maybe another eighth inch or so. So, uh, yeah, things are working out good. I might have to massage the, the crush washer a little bit, but... Uh, other than that, we're good to go. Alright, we're happy with that. That's uh, pretty much uh, flush there. And on the bottom, the electrode sticking out. Here's the original one over here. You can see that the uh, one I made is actually sticking out a little further, so we'll be okay. No worries. Alright, let's. Uh, We'll start cutting out uh, some of the meat. Uh, I got this over on a little mill here, and uh, I've been playing with it for a while. You know, and it's uh, that's the problem with these little mills. I mean, uh, they'll do the job, but you better not be in a hurry. So, uh, you know, I think I think this, this little section here might have taken over a half hour. But uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of here, bring it over to the drill press. I could probably put a drill in here and use this one, but. I think I'll use the other drill press and just uh, drill holes through it and uh, dig out a lot of the meat. You know, that'll uh, cut down on the milling. So, you know, it's a little uh, Rube Goldberg, but uh, sometimes you got to do that. All right, let me see how that works. All right, I gutted most of this with the, with the drill press over there. So it should save a whole lot of time now on the mill. You know, that's just what you got to do with these little baby mills. That w This probably would have taken 10 minutes if you had a real, real size bridge port. And then put that back in there and play with it a little more. Alright, I've been milling out this head here and doing pretty good. Putting a lot of time into it. And uh, I ran into a problem. My little mill just crapped out on me, but uh, I can't really blame the mill because it was, it was me. You know, I'm, I'm overworking it. So I'm doing... I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing with it, you know, I got like a a big three-quarter bit in here and uh, you know these things have plastic gears and you know I've been working this thing to death and uh, I'll take the blame for it, I can't, I, this mill's been too good to me to, to complain about it you know we're always, uh, we're acting like it's a, a real bridge port or something and, and it's not so uh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to take the top off of this and I'm pretty sure I probably stripped the gear or something but uh, they're, they're pretty easy to find, so I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, my motor's spinning, but my my bit ain't. So uh, let me take it apart and see what the damages are. All right, I took this off. It was actually pretty easy. It was only only three Allen screws holding this uh, this little black motor in, and uh, I didn't strip the gear, but it actually cracked. But I think the reason it cracked was it's supposed to have this this little key in there, and half the key is missing, you know. And and I know I couldn't have broken that, you know. And then this I found that off the bottom too. And all it is is just actually, you know, you got the keyway. You can see how long that keyway is. Okay, I'm trying to look at the camera, and this at the same time. 
you can actually see how long the keyway is and the thickness of that and you can see you know something you can't even see it's so tiny something's not right and uh, I could tell this has been taken apart before because it was greased and it had to you see that uh, heavy, uh, not heavy, but it's a uh, synthetic <coughs> red grease there. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see under here, you see the yellow, that's probably factory there. And somebody must have had this apart, or, or broke a gear before, it's possible. And replaced it and didn't have a keyway. So, uh, I wasn't going to take it, it's, it only has a couple screws holding this lid on, so. I really don't have to take it off, but I'm going to take it off and uh, see if there's any parts in there, you know, like uh, maybe the other half of that keyway, but I don't think so. I think uh, that's just what happened, you know. Maybe whoever had this at one time had to get the thing back together, and that's all they had for a key, so. Uh, like I said, there's only uh, three three screws holding this top on. <coughs> We're going to look at it. All right, we took the top off here. There's, like I said, there's only three or four screws. And here's the inside, and uh, everything actually looks pretty good in here. I don't know if you're supposed to lubricate these uh, plastic gears or not, because it seems like it just gets thrown on all sides and everything. But uh, yeah, everything is uh, nice in here. Yeah, there's no remnants of uh, key, a piece of key or anything like that. So I think that's that's what uh, created the the damage. You know, it just didn't have the right uh, key in the keyway there. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get order a gear. I bet you somebody uh, makes uh, metal gears for this thing. But I'm just gonna. I'm gonna replace it with the plastic one and uh, put a, a new keyway in and uh, call it uh, done. All right. So uh, I might have to give Mike this thing and take it home and let him finish it up, or else we'll just wait till we get the parts. Alrighty. Enough of this.